business. A lot of people think it's a job, but it's actually a business that you have to spend money on marketing. Uh, forget the money you spend on marketing. That's actually not the issue. It's about you have to be self-motivated, uh, self-disciplined. And a lot of people join the game when they still have a job and uh, life happens and, you know, things fall apart. So people make commissions, sales commissions to they, they make that. But another part of it that uh, on, that's underground, still kind of underground, is becoming more popular. And because it's becoming more popular, there are regulations coming to play in different states to restrict people that are practicing this. I've been doing this for 16 years, right? So I started 16 years ago. And the truth is that the game has changed quite a bit because of some gurus, you know, that have basically put on uh, massive YouTube platforms where they're teaching it and everyone is joining. Now, here's the beauty about this, right? Don't, don't think because everyone is joining that it's saturated. There is no such thing when you're talking about the ecosystem or the economy of any type of business. The cream always rises to the top, okay? The question is, are you going to be the cream that always rises to the top? You get to decide that. How do you decide that? You be, you become a perpetual student of the game, right? You understand it from this standpoint. You subscribe to this channel. You always keep coming back until you master it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's go back to the basics. Uh, agent, realtors, uh, the traditional. These are what you will call the traditional professionals uh, in the game, all right? Traditional pros, right? So like I was saying, the underground, the underground type of... Uh, strategy uh that we're talking about right now uh at one point they, they were called the uh burdens right but now things are becoming a little bit more sophisticated in other words you can make a lot more money you can build a whole business out of this you can build up a, a multi-million dollar business out of this right uh we'll call them the wholesalers okay now we don't want you running around town calling yourself a wholesaler like a clown. As a matter of fact, a wholesaler is uh, is essentially uh, an investor. Okay, they just so happen to invest time as opposed to invest money. So the traditional real estate investor is investing money to actually buy the property and fix the property. But here's the thing: these guys have what we call the luxury of. They have the luxury of. They have luxury of, of money but not time, okay? If you're getting started and you're learning this game, there's a good chance that you have more time than you have money, right? And the idea is that eventually you flip it. You have more money and you have less time. I know you're supposed to, you're supposed, but the thing is that at least you have the option of buying time, freedom with the people you love the most, uh, and spending your time the way you like to spend it, as opposed to a boss at some job that you don't like telling you how to spend your time. The idea is options, but let me just give it to you right now, upfront. The more successful you get, the less time you tend to have reality, but you just tend to also love what you do. So it doesn't feel like a job. So me coming here right now today to shoot this video and put out this value that literally hundreds of people will watch into the future, right? Um, I enjoy doing it right now on top of that i get to continue to serve long after we finish this session and i go back to my family right so leverage 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 is about leveraging the tools at our disposal to create the life we want the same thing that's applicable here right so the underground uh, uh pros that you probably haven't known or maybe you did right but most people in the world still don't know it's called the wholesalers and what is it about so instead of uh you investing uh, money like a typical investor, you, you've got time. And maybe a couple of dollars. You're gonna spend a couple of dollars, 13 bucks here and there, $12, $100 here and there, but it doesn't hurt you. Uh, it doesn't hurt the bank. It's not your life savings. And you can potentially make $10,000 from one single deal, from one single deal, right? <clears throat> All right, excuse me. All right, so let's keep going here. So what is a wholesaler, right? So wholesaler, the idea is they find deals, okay? They find deeply, let me put this properly, discounted uh, deals, all right? What does this look like? Uh, anything that's 65% of ARV, 
ARV stands for after repair value, right? Anything that's 65%, let's just make sure. Okay, I think we're good. Um, 65% of the after repair value. Okay, I can show you what that looks like here. If you go to dealestimator.com, uh, which is a simple tool that I created, it's free for the purpose of, so you guys can use it for free. It's called dealestimator.com start a new let me just go here and make sure i show that so in case you want to write that down uh, there you go all right good so this is the tool right here the idea is that we're paying 65 percent or less of the after repair value of any particular property all right so 65 percent of the after repair value after repair so typically again the idea is first step you're looking for uh you're looking to find deeply discounted deals why because investors are always looking for it but they don't have the time you've got the time and a little bit of money to be frank there's still no money down you don't have to spend your money on buying a property but to market to buy a few tools to make your life easier uh yes it will take a couple of dollars here and there but it, but it to make sense to you if you're making ten thousand dollars per deal right potentially or more my average actually has been between ten and thirty thousand dollars okay all right so after repair value all right or, or less now we have to adjust this minus the estimated cost of repair all right so the property typically like somebody that un unless somebody is crazy they're not going to sell you a property that needs no work at a 65 percent discount or 30 35 percent off discount they, they're not no, like nobody in their right mind would do that right unless they're extremely desperate it's highly unlikely but when the house needs work let's say this house needs uh so for example this house let's say this house is worth let's use a real life example house how's that right so we're going to go back to the software okay and here we are right i can tell based off my personal criteria i have other videos that cover my personal criteria uh, on this platform okay if you need it just let me know I'll, I'll, I'll get it out to you but I already pre-saved it uh, there are 17 properties in this city that fits my criteria I'm gonna click into this and there are 17 properties that I need to absolutely go after the owners uh, what is it about this property it's the 17 properties if I go on the filter here's the cri here are the criteria Re residential single family up to four family houses uh, no homeowner association. I don't want condos or uh, at least not for the purpose of this, right? Uh, not on the market. I don't want it already listed with a, with a licensed agent on the market. I want to deal only directly because I'm a wholesaler. I deal directly with the source, right? I'm looking for deeply discounted properties. I don't go to the market to find out. Once it's on the market, it's usually too late. It's already over overpriced. Or there's a situation of overbidding, like a bidding war that will go on. I, I want to completely avoid all of that. That's what makes me a professional at this. I find deeply discounted properties for investors. Investors take over these properties from me and they pay me 5, 10, 20. My highest 